Good evening. Today's meeting focused on three important components, education, empowerment, and providing people with a pathway forward to address allegations of appraisal bias in Prince George's County. How are we going to pass down inheritance to our children and children's children? It's a question attendees at Wednesday's Fair and Unbiased Appraisal Advocates Roundtable set out to answer. The group of homeowners, real estate agents, appraisers and brokers addressed how alleged bias home appraisals are affecting the opportunity to generate wealth and build equity. Earlier this month, we shared the stories of two families who say they lost thousands of dollars because their homes were appraised differently. They believe the houses are valued differently because they are black homeowners in a black majority neighborhood. Angelique Bess has been a mortgage broker for over 20 years. It's pervasive. I have been fighting appraisal values for years. After the market crash and Dodd Freight came out, now when we order an appraisal, we have to order it through the lender's appraisal management company. And so we don't have any relationship with the appraiser. We don't know even, even know who that appraiser is or, or even where they're coming from. The Dodd-Frank Wall Street Reform and Consumer Protection Act passed in 2010. That bill overhauled financial regulations and put in place safeguards to ensure what led to the 2008 crash didn't happen again. There may be some racial issues to, to that. I'm not I'm not even going to deny that that's probably a very, very big piece of it. And so consequently, when you have an appraiser that comes in low, it's extremely difficult to argue. Research from the Brookings Institute shows that homes in black neighborhoods are devalued by about $48,000 on average. That average remained consistent when we examined their data for the Washington Metro. Ayako Marsh has seen the problem on the ground as an appraiser for the last 22 years. We have to understand that bias is unintentional. So is it on purpose? Is it done, you know, um, out of any type of racist attitudes? That is unintentional. Now, if it's done intentional, then that equates to racism. She adds that the issue is complex. The types of appraisals conducted may affect the value of the home, whether it be a cost approach, a sales comparison or income comparison. Also, homeowners may believe that certain upgrades improve the home's value when they don't. She you know, says with only 2% uh, of appraisers who identify as black, uh, having more appraisers of color will also help address appraisal bias. We need appraisers to also look like the community that we are appraising. So I think this is a wonderful event. I think it's the first step and really taking us to a correcting, you know, what we're seeing as undervaluation of properties or unintentional bias that's happening. The group meets again here in March. State Delegate Marvin Holmes says he plans on working with the state legislature to figure out what else they can do to address this problem. In Prince George's County, Larry Miller, WUSA 9.